Dog raising is a profitable livestock industry in the Philippines. It is the second largest poultry industry that provides farmers income through its eggs and meat products. There are many ways in raising ducks. One of this is through Integrated Rice Duck Farming System or IRDFS. Based on field research findings from the Rice Duck Movement Incorporated or RDMI, a non-government organization have pioneered the system in the Philippines. Integrating ducks in rice farming have been proven to increase yield from 10% in year 1 up to 30% in year 3 onwards with about 50% higher net return. By adopting integrated rice stock farming system, you're not only increasing your family potential income, but also helping the environment free from the application of agrochemical inputs in rice production that may affect human health, particularly the farmers and the consumers. To start the integrated rice stock farming system, the following materials are needed. 150 to 200 ducklings per hectare. Wood source of irrigation water 2.5 rolls of nets for inclusion 400 meter rope number 5 0.5 kilograms of tie wire Bamboo sticks for post Dock housing Waterer or feeder And brooding box Integrated rice dock farming system is made up of six components. These are dock sourcing, dock housing, dock preparation and acclimatization, net insulation, field release, and feeding. Starting a rice dock farming system may require proper care and time. Number one, dock housing. Docks need shelter. Ducks should be put in a housing that would keep them dry and safe from predators, with space enough for them to move so that smaller ducklings will not be trampled over by the bigger ones. Cover the flooring with rice straw or rice hull to make the housing clean and dry. Duck housing need not be very expensive. Materials readily available in the area can be used. Number 2. Duck Sourcing Availability of quality and healthy ducklings, which will be released to a hectarized field, is one of the most important factors to consider in this technology. It is advisable that the day-old ducklings will be transported to the former's field for breeding activity during rice planning schedule. Delaying the delivery of ducklings after hatching will increase the risk of mortality. Number 3. Duck Preparation and Acclimatization A day to three days after hatching, ducklings must be placed in a brooding box with equal partition to prevent trampling over the smalling duckling during sleeping. Brooding box must be covered with sacks during the evening. Water should be available at all times in place ready for drinking. Ad libitum feeding should be done two weeks during brooding stage of duckling with sheet booster. Acclimatization of ducklings is the most important part in preparing the duck for eventual swimming in the rice field. Without this, ducklings will suffer high mortality, up to 80%. Ducklings should be fed with a cheek booster to keep their body warm. After feeding, allow them to swim in a small pond around the portion of newly transplanted rice for 30 seconds. See to it that the water is enough for ducks to swim and walk. Remove the ducklings from the water after 30 seconds and allow them to dry for 2-3 to three hours. When ducklings are completely dry, allow them to go back for practice swimming for another 30 seconds. Repeat practice swimming in 2-3 to three days before final release to the rice field. Green plants will be given such as kangkong, ipil-ipil, and other leguminous plants. Green plants will prepare the digestive system of the ducklings for eventual release in the rice field after 2-3 to three days of acclimatization. Number 4. Net Insulation 
Nets are used to protect the ducklings from getting out from the rice field and ensure that dogs and other predators, including humans, will be kept away from them. The nets are held upright by posts, nylon, and tie wire to keep from sagging. Other dock inclusion can be used using indigenous materials available in the locality. After harvest, the nets are removed and stored for use for the next cropping season. The net can be recycled for a maximum of 10 cropping. Number 5. Field Release Ducklings are allowed to swim freely on the rice field after 7 days or 1 week after transplanting with the completion of the acclimatization process. Feeding should be done twice a day, one in the morning before releasing the ducks and another one in the afternoon. This time, the ducklings are allowed to explore the rice areas to eat insects, snails, weeds, and weed seeds, mudding the soil and fertilizing it with their manure. Number 6. Feeding Cheek booster is necessary during the first three weeks. In the fourth week, commercial feeds must be mixed with rice or corn bran to prepare the duckling for alternative feeds for the second month. Ducks will eat green plants like kangkong, banana trunk mixed with rice, corn bran as alternative feeds. Important thing, do not overfeed the ducks. Ducks have to find 50% to 60% of their food from the rice field such as snails, weeds, and insects. With proper care management, good housing, brooding, feeding, proper water management, acclimatizing the ducklings, and close monitoring the ducklings for the first month are the basic things to consider for this technology to work. Ducks, when released to the field at the right time, will provide beneficial effect in rice production. This includes pest control, weeding, fertilization effect, and simulation effect. Ducks eat all form of insects in the rice field. Ducks also control weeds by directly eating the seeds, eating the newly sprouted weeds, and stepping on and walking over the newly sprouting weeds. The paddling movements of the ducks, shaking effects of its bodies to the rice plant during swimming, and the beak touching the stem during insect feeding provide simulation effects and resulting higher numbers of tillers. Duck released in the rice field provide direct organic fertilizer from their manures mixed during swimming and paddling activities. It is recommended to maintain 50% ducklings and 50% adult ducks in the rice field for they play different roles. Ducklings are very efficient in pest control, while adult ducks are good for fertilizing the soil. After 4 months, ducks will start to lay eggs which can be processed into balut or salted eggs, while mature duck can be sold to the market for meat purposes. Integrated rice duck farming system has also health benefits. It also lowers the production cost for the farmers will no longer have to use expensive and dangerous pesticides and inorganic fertilizers. Through this technology, organic rice will rise and everyone will enjoy safe and quality food.